Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now today I wanted to make a video on a very fun approach, very famous for those in the community, um, into uh, Split Croatia. For today we'll be looking at the Arnav visual approach to runway 23. So the main runway would be 05, runway 23 always requires a certain circling approach and there's different ways of doing it. There's a couple of different ways of doing it. Uh, today we'll look, as I said, at the Arnav. Um, there will be a VOR as well that I will cover in a, in a separate video. Bear in mind, if you have a look at both videos, the first half of the video, the first part, the setting up of the plane and programming the MCDU and everything is going to be exactly the same. So I will copy and paste that. And the difference is going to be only, of course, in the second part, in the approach, in the briefing and in the approach. I will put in the video timestamps so you know when the MCDU is being programmed, you know when in the cruise we do the briefing for the approach and then you know when the approach is being done. So if you don't want to follow the whole video, you have those elements um, that will allow you to recreate the flight for yourself. Um, so as we were saying, let's have a quick look. There we go. So we will be going from uh, Rome. This is an actual real flight from Malitalia. So that goes from Rome very quickly and then comes into Split, which is here on the coast in uh, Croatia. And uh, you can see um, that's the arrival that we will be seeing today. So in terms of departure from Rome, Today, because of winds, we're departing 1-6 right uh, with a Zebra 8 Bravo departure. And then we will be arriving with a Vapu 1 Yankee onto the Arnav Victor runway 23 via Lasso. And this is what you need if you want to uh, reproduce. It's a very short flight. Uh, it shouldn't take very long. It should be 48 minutes of, um, of actual flight. And uh, But without further ado, let's step into the plane and uh, let's start it. There we go. So we're into the in the A321. Actually, this plane in specific will have CFM engines. There we go. Now let's start here. Engine uh, masters are up, mode selector in normal, weather radar is off, landing gear is down, wipers are off, battery above 25.5, and it can come on. External power on. Let's leave it to do its thing. We can turn the radios on. One, two, and three. And then we can load the plane while the screens do their 40 seconds test. 65.8 today, zero full weight. Well, that's good. 180 passengers, perfect. And then we have fuel of 6,800. 6,800. And that's... Correct. And let's see if the... Yep, yeah, we've got the test finished. We can do the APU fire test. One, two, three, four, five, six indications. And we're good. Come here. Door page. Oxygen in the green. Hydraulic fluid is topped up. And the engine oil is enough. 11 quarts plus 0.3 per hour. That's good. Now we can check the parking brake is set. So we have it set there. We have 2000 of pressure and parking brake is set. Accumulator pressure is in the green, so that's good. Flaps are zero the handle and zero on the ECAM. And the spoilers are retracted and disarmed. All good here. So we can go into the overhead. Crew oxygen supply on, ground control auto, CVR test, captain and personnel for the evacuation. Aders 1, 2, and 3. Strolls auto, nav 1, seat belts on, no smoking auto, and emergency light armed. Landing elevation is at 12 o'clock, so auto, cross bleed auto. Temperatures, we leave them as they are. We expect the two faults on the gens. The fuel pumps will stay off until we switch to APU. Let's do the engine fire test. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven indications. And now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're good. Cargo flight controls, no white lights. Maintenance panel, no white lights. Audio switching is normal. Let's go and grab the weather. 
I'm using Active Sky so you don't see me grabbing uh, the weather. I do it on a separate window. Now, like so, conditions 1021. QNH1021, it's a very gloomy day. I hope you can see clear enough. QNH1021, we check the time was UTC, the clock here is on GPS, and this kid is on an environment center pedestal, and we have the radio, VHF1, send and receive, multiscan goes to auto, GCS auto, we tilt the radar up 5, Cockpit door normal, the switching here all normal, thrust lever zero. Engine master is off, mode selector normal, rudder trim is zero, parking brake is on, and gravity gear extension door is stored. On the transponder, altitude reporting on, system one, and switch to above. We go, let's go and set up the flight plan and the MCDU. So database is current and that's good. Got any page. We load the plan and that's gonna be LIRF to LDSP. Alternate for today is going to be Vienna. Flight number Alitalia 580. Cost index is gonna be nine. And the cruise level 290. Align the IRS. And let's go on flight plan. Layer of departure. We said 1-6 right. And the departure is going to be, let's have a look, was like Sibra 8 Bravo. 8 Bravo, let's see that it makes sense. Transition is going to be the Okuno. That's the very difficult thing of Rome. The Sids and Stars have very weird transition. So it should be the Okuno 6 Alpha. Temporary flight plan, insert. Sibri. Yeah, the way I still need to figure out the way these stars and arrival because what Navigraph programs is totally different from what the plane tells you. I think I want to delete this one and then do it direct there. There we are. That looks a lot idea and there we go and then on arrival LDSP we said the arrival is going to be um, a ooh, va, ooh. okay well first of all RNAV 23 Vapo 1 Yankee and it's gonna be via lasso Transition done, temporary flat plan, and we go. Sibri, let's see. No discontinuities, all good. Vapo, perhaps we lasso. After lasso, we have Nurat and Rorca. And that is correct. Perfect. Let's delete already the hole that lasso. We're not going to be using that. There we are. That's a classic hold. As you can see, the hold over here. But, well, we don't need to do that in the same. We can just delete it and, uh, and go direct. There we go. That's all done. 250 nautical miles. Let's see. Makes sense. Yeah, 242. And that is good. Now, after the flight plan, we'll do the second flight plan. Copy the active. And the usual thing we'll do coming back to Lerf in case of engine failure. Lerf will come back on the same. Runway, let's see. We're not on Batsim, so we don't know what runways are in use, but 
We can pretend we do them. Make it up. So we'll be departing from 1 6 right, which is this one over here. And let's pretend we'll arrive on 1 6 left. No star, no via. Transition and insert. Second flight plan with the performance. So we say Q and H is one uh, zero two zero now. I thought it was one zero two one. Yeah, it has changed. There we are. One zero two zero. Temperature is one five. Winds one five zero at one three. And MDA will take the arrival. Um, approach ILS 16 left X and the is going to be 214 next phase go around performance the airport elevation is 14 so we'll do 10201020 and an engine altitude elevation is the missed approach altitude which is 2000 2000. Now that second flight plan is done, we go on to Bratnav. Delete everything, we leave it to auto tune. Proc page will put coming back to layer 616 left. Now we got performance. Oh, sorry. Any it beep. It's gonna be sixty-five point eight and twenty-eight point six. Block fuel six point eight. Let's try and put the winds in it. Wind. Cruise wind. Let's go with what Sim Brief tells us. Did I get it wrong? Two four zero at three nine. Not taking the winds. Okay, let's see. Strange. That's fine. It's not. It's not vital. It's only for fuel calculation, really. Two four one at zero five zero. It doesn't like it. Or maybe two four one at five zero. Nothing. It doesn't want to take the winds. It's fine. It's not. It's not vital. It's a bit stuck. Tolis is sleepy today. It's fine. Leave it without. Anyway, so Brat Reserve is going to be contingency 0.8. Diversion is 2.6. It's more fuel for the diversion than for the original. And the reserve is going to be 1.2. We're planning on burning 2.1. So let's add. 100 kilos it's not a problem we have the constituency but oh that's why it wasn't working sorry i put the diversion onto the reserve it's fine we needed that extra kilo 1.2 there perfect zero zero lovely Fuel is done and we just need to do performance. So performance is going to be one six right. Let's see if we're going to go for length or we can take an intersection and shorten it a little bit. One six right is 3,900 meters. That is one long runway. So we can definitely start from AC. So we'll cut a bit of taxing time there. And let's see if we have as well the length runway takeoff run available one six right runway head taxiway a alpha charlie we have two nine instead of three nine so one thousand feet of takeoff shift well nine fifty nine hundred and fifty meters sorry takeoff shift nine hundred and fifty meters and that will adjust the v speeds 
Let's go to flaps if we're going to do one. Lex stem is four to six. Engine out acceleration, as we said, is going to be one zero, two zero. V1, one for five. VR, one for five. And V2, one for eight. Transition altitude, 6,000. We don't need that anymore. And in terms of departure, let's see if we can make any sense of this. These departures. Sibri, eight. Bravo, we said that that was going to be. Where is Xibri? Xibri 5 Alpha. Xenol. Xibri 8 Bravo. There we go. That's the one. That makes sense. Right turn at 601. That's the one we have. Perfect. Now, initial climb. Transition altitude is 6,000. No instructions for the initial climb. I will find that. We'll do 6,000 the same. Perfect. So transition altitude is 6,000. Thrust reduction acceleration again. 120 and 120. There we go. That's all loaded. Can get that off. Let's finish the cockpit preparation. So let's put the QNH here, 1020, 1020. Flight directors are on. We're going to need constraints on both sides. Here we leave arc 10, and here we leave arc 40. Uh, speed is dashed, heading is dashed. Altitude, initial climb altitude, let's do 6000. There we have it. And then we go here and we check pressure, landing elevation. And destination is 80. Status is good and check that everything is aligned. So 80s are enough. And we're good. Perfect. At this point, we would ask for clearance. Let's put a squawk. There we go. After clearance, we're going to do a briefing. But first, let's get the APU started. So quick briefing and double checking the FNC. So today we said that we're flying in Rome to uh, split. Weather here is uh, good visibility 10 miles plus wind 150 at 13 knots. So pretty much down the runway. Clouds broken at 2500. That's good. If we have any problem, we can come back to um, Rome. The weather is good enough. Uh, and. Uh, we have normal items, everything is in order. We are parked over here. We need to depart from Alpha Charlie 1 6 right, so we'll push back facing northeast and then taxi via Gulf all the way to Alpha, cross runway 07, and then Alpha Charlie for runway 1 6 right. At that point, we have 3000 meters of flaps. One standard departure will go ahead and do the uh, Xibri 8 Bravo above 601 will turn right and will intercept the 187 outbound to Xibri at all about 3000 at Xibri. We're going to be at 9000 there, so that's all good. Now let's check briefly over here. Extra status, so we're on 8321. Be careful with tail strike. CFM current database uh, in it. Rome to split. I'm going to be Alitalia 580290 is the flight level. Load is 65.8 as per operational flight plan. A block fuel 6.9 loaded and balanced and that matches. We're going to be departing from 16 right ahead, right turn, and we climb. No constraints, only 250 below 10,000. The MSA is 2,300, so we'll be clear of that. We'll be over the seat now. Distance at 250 against 242 over here on the plan, and time 43 minutes against 37 minutes. That's all good. Brad Nav, auto tune, proc page, optimal altitude is 360, but we won't make more than 290. It's a very short flight. We've entered Rome 16 left in case we need to come back. Performance, we have runway 16 right. 
from Alpha Charlie um, with flaps one flex temp 46 and then speed 145, 145, 148 and clean of 221. Acceleration standard 1000 feet above the airfield and uh, we finish off with fuel prediction 4.6 and on the plan it says 4.6 so that's good. And the second flip plan we have entered coming back. That's all good. APU now is available. We'll go on APU bleed, turn the fuel pumps on. And we're good. And let's disconnect ground power. We can call the pushback tag. So we're pushing that way. Ground to cockpit. Tow is driving up. Lovely. And we can. Uh, to, let's see the it is 1020 and it's showing negative altitude well we are within 20 feet anyway so we should be good now before star checklist cockpit preparation we've completed both sides baron f1020 set three times acres initialized parking brake is on Fuel on board 6,900, balanced. Inip has been loaded, flex temp is 4.6 and uh, speed 145, 145, 148. Perfect, let's get the pushback clearance. Let's pretend we've been clear to push, go okay. beacon on. Doors and hatches are closed. Copy Ready door locked. Transponder to XPDR. Windows are closed. Door page, all the doors are closed. And the cockpit door is closed. Before the touching is be below the line, signs on and auto. We have seatbelts and no smoking here. Beacon is on. ATC expander, TICA standby showing on the ECA. No switch sitting disconnect, disconnected on ECA. Windows and doors closed and flight that door locked. Before that checklist complete. And bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. There we go. Release parking brake. Starting pushback, and you may start engines. So good to start the engines. Engine mode selector to start. We have bleed pressure, so we can start engine number two. Start engine number two. Start the chrono. Let's start the block timer as well. There we go. Twenty-four percent fuel flow and EGC rising. Traffic. Good start, engine number two. And we set the parking brake. Engine two is available. Can reset the chrono. Start engine number one. Good floor, EGT rising. Set 
Tito is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal will be on the left. We'll see you next time. Have there we go. Power time. transfer. Go start for engine number one. Reset the chrono and start it again. And now we monitor the warm up time. And voila, pin removed. That's good. Now, engine mode selector goes back to normal. APU bleed is off. Let's consider I and TIs. We don't need it. The clouds were at 2500 and uh, oh, we're at 15 degrees. No anti ice. Master switch for APU goes off. And over here, ground spoiler armed. Let's check the trim. What's oh, supposed to be 29.3. So round about there, 29.3, rudder trim 0, flaps 1. And we're good. After start checklist, ground crew clearance seen, anti ice off, flaps 1 plus F green and 1 blue. APU off, yellow electric pump is off, and the ECAM status is checked. After the checklist complete, we request taxi, and once we get taxi run, we turn off and nose light taxi. One last check, doors, slides are armed. We can start the taxi, remove, release, parking brake, clear left, clear right. Brake check. The braking pressure stays on zero. That's good. They are left on golf. Let's do flight controls check. Pull up, pull down, neutral, pull left, pull right, neutral, and the rudder, pull left, pull right, neutral. It's going to be the second bright. Okay, in the meantime, we're away from the apron so we can set the weather radar to 1, PWS to auto, TCAS TRA. We don't really have terrain as a concern, so we'll leave it just on the um, pilot monitoring max auto brake. So ND makes sense, that's where we're going and we're departing. Yes, 
Yeah, southeast. So it'll be runway 16 right, we go straight ahead, turn, uh, 600 feet, turn right, intercept the radial, and uh, keep climbing. No speed restrictions. Transition altitude is 6,000 feet, and MSA is 2,300. Do the first turn manual, and then we'll activate the autopilot once we're straight. Crossing runway 07, so let's put the strolls on. Clear left, clear right, nothing on the TCAS. And do the before takeoff checklist. Flight controls have been checked. TCAS 60A ratio in TA only on uh, D and D. Load sheet has been acknowledged. Trims are 29.3 and 0. Departure briefing is confirmed. Takeoff data. Runway 16 right. Um, Alpha Charlie tran intersection and takeoff data is a 145, 148, climb nav blue, 1 FT2, 6000 and uh, flex temp 46. Plus 1 plus F green, 1 blue. ECA memo, takeoff no blue, just the cabin to notify. This is Alpha Bravo. The Alpha Charlie. Why does it say Alpha Charlie here? That's not Alpha Charlie. And that's not Alpha Bravo. Hmm. These indications are a bit confused. Yeah, that's Alpha Charlie, that's wrong. There we go, turn here left. There we go, let's pretend we've been cleared to take off and we go. And the lights on, nose to take off, pack one and two off. And we can finish the before takeoff checklist below the line. Takeoff runway is 16 right. Coming cruise signal will ping them now. No smoking off and then on. And packs are off before takeoff checklist complete. Warming up time, we're now at 8 minutes, so we're way past the 5 minutes, and it's good. We can reset that. We check the Break temperatures below 150 and we're at 30, we didn't do turn around and we good. There we go, spawn them up, 50%, and one. There we go, man, flex 46, SRS, runway, auto thrust blue. Takeoff thrust set. One hundred knots checked. V one rotate. Positive climb. Here up. Climb, Alt Blue 6000. Positive speed, thrust climb, auto thrust. There we go, autopilot one. Pack one on.
back to one. Imabe speed, flap zero. Spoiler disarmed. Lights can go off. There we go. After uh, takeoff, climb checklist, the landing gear is up. Ika memo checked. Down to the line. Let's clear ourselves to. There's no constraint in the middle, so yeah, let's go to 290. Set standard. Standard set and cross checked. Open climb, alt blue 290. After takeoff checklist below the line, barrel F, standard set both. After takeoff climb checklist complete. Bit of clouds, engine anti ice. I always put the wing anti ice simply because this plane doesn't simulate ice accumulation. So still. It's just a way to be safe. There we go, and the eyes can come off. Ten thousand, so I'll to check flight level one zero two, climbing flight level two nine zero standard set. Lights are off, seatbelt can come off. We put airport over here, one hour and D. ECAM is good, and the MCDU right nav is not for students, so that's good. Brock page will put. Our destination LPSD23. And I got something wrong. LDSP. I always get it wrong. LDSP. Lima Delta Sierra Papa. 2 prediction 4.8 and 4.6 is what we needed, so that we saved a couple hundred kilos and second effort plan copy active. There we go. Pressurization is good and temperature is good. 2 2 2 3 2 3. Now let's see how long for the Total totally sent 129. We'll need to probably do a briefing before we get to top climb. Top of climb from top of climb to top of descent is going to be 21, 17, 38, 47, 47, 68, 70. Yeah, we might start the briefing a little bit 
30 miles from the top of climb. Flight level 200 climbing, flight level 290 standard set. There we go, so let's start briefing our arrival. So in terms of charts, LDSP, we're going to need the arrival, which is going to be a VAPO 1 Yankee. We then need the approach which as we said is going to be the Arnav visual runway 23 there's as well another chart for the visual approach visual part after the Arnav approach and then we're gonna get the airport chart airport info info takeoff perfect so now let's check first of all the MCDU and everything is programmed correctly according to the approach, the arrival and the approach. Now, flight plan. So the first point is going to be VAPOP. We'll be descending from Suto, from, from top of the descent here. We're losing 9,000 feet in 32 miles, and that's good. Then we're going to be a VAPOP at 17,800. Next point, Chemix. With a speed constraint of 250, and that's there, coded magenta 250. Then SP701, and then we turn left for Lassul. Lassul, we have Max 190. I think that I referred to the to the hold, Max 190. Mm, minimum holding altitude 4000 yeah that refers to the hold not really i don't think there would be normally a speed constraint uh, we'll keep it there and we'll see then after lasso we're on the approach now the mda sorry the msa is 7000 feet in there we'll make a note of that 
Then we go on to the approach. We're going to be on Lasso. Let's check it there as well. We're going to be at Lasso. Deceleration point is there. We're going to be Lasso. And then we have Nurat. Eight miles to Nurat. At 3,000 feet. Yeah, as explained over here, 3,000 feet and Nurat, and then we'll descend to 2,000 feet to our NDA. Okay, so Rorca, we're going to be at 2,000 feet, and then from there we'll start our visual part. So from Rorca is the missed approach altitude, missed approach, missed approach point. And if we're not visual by Rorca with the airport, we need to fly the missed approach procedure here on the right. If we are visual, we just go down and that's all coded. Okay, perfect. Now, the visual part says that we need to go to this point. That's not coded. So basically from Rorca, you take over manually and you fly manually. And you should head over to the coast. Now I'm sure that with two pilots and a realistic scenery, it will be a lot easier to get this point right. Also, you would have quite a lot of experience in being a captain flying in that place if you were to do it, while I don't. So let's try and give us a fighting chance. Now, on these difficult approaches, of course, it's always useful to create some fixed uh, info, uh, some fixed points in the fixed info page to give yourself a little bit more situational awareness. So let's start by doing that. And we'll take Nurat, fixed info. Let's start with this ring. This is important. Do not cross 4.6 from the VOR uh, Sierra Papa Lima, of course, because there's terrain over here. So what we're going to do, we're going to do that very important one. Sierra Papa Lima, we'll put it there. 4.6, unfortunately, we cannot draw it. So 15.7, 15.7, 115.7. And then we'll put five miles, and we know we need to be a little bit before that. And that's the circle, so we need to stay within that. Then we want the um might want to have an extended center line as well that might help so we got another info another fix and we go l lima delta sierra papa two three so that's the threshold of the runway we're landing at and then we do a radial the reciprocate of 229 which is 049 we're shooting that way and there we have there we go our extended center line now we would love to have this point there to help us out give us a fighting chance and this one is a custom waypoint that we can create because we have all the info we we need we need where it generates from on which course radial and at which distance so we can create this point i don't want to create it on the uh, main flight plan but we can fiddle with the second flight plan so let's see what we're going to do second flight plan copy the active then change the approach on the second flight plan and do like when you do a circle to land when we do an arrival without procedure straight onto the runway so that will create a center fix Star, we're going to put the same we're using. So we have the first part of the level coded. Vapu one Yankee, no via, no transition. And we go there. At this point, let's see what we have. We have the center fix and the runway. And now we can start working on it. We can add this point over here. So to create it, we need to enter the point it generates from so the VOR Sierra Papa Lima then slash the radial 041 and slash the distance 4.3 so SPL 041 4.3 and we chuck it on the runway so it will put it before the runway there we go so we can delete the discontinuity and then we have our point and then we go to the runway the center of this will delete it in a second now it's going there 
though directly from Lassul so we can make it even better and add Rorca so let's add Rorca before the custom waypoint so we click on the custom waypoint delete this discontinuity and then before Rorca we put what is it called Norat Norat perfect Norat we'll put it before clicking on Rorca so it goes before Rorca delete the discontinuity delete the center fix and now it all makes sense we just need to connect Lassul and Norat delete the discontinuity there and we are good Lassul, Norat, Rorca our custom waypoint and the runway perfect that should help us out of course we're not going to fly it we're just going to do it by the book we're going to do it manually but it's there to help us Double Descent is now 40 miles from here so let's wind this down already to 10,000 ok now let's brief exactly what we're going to do as we said we're going to come, out, come down the Vapo 1 Yankee arrival come down at Chemex max 250 SP P701 and then we turn left for Lassol. Lassol at or about 4,000 feet. Lassol will be 4,000 feet. We need to descend at to 3,000 feet at Nurat. But Lassol already, well, Nurat we want to be 185. We check on the perfect page. We are on an A321, so we're quite heavy. Let's enter quickly the arrival data so the q and h is going to be 1021 1021 temperature is 14 and winds 110 at 12 mda is going to be 2000 as we said as indicated here 2000 ceiling visibility restriction as well ceiling minimum 2500 feet and we have today a ceiling of nothing as cover conditions good visibility 10 kilometers and we have that and then go around thrust reduction acceleration is 1000 feet above airfield airfield is 80 so 180 180 and engine out acceleration as usual is the missed approach stop altitude 4000 there we go that's all in so as we were saying we want to decelerate to 185 by Nurat S speed so that's that's minimum no flaps speed minimum flaps one speed 204 so um, we will need to be flaps two already before Nurat so what we're gonna do at lasso we're gonna put flaps one this needs to be a decelerated approach because we need to be practically fully configured by Rorca or the the visual part we don't have guidance so we need to do a decelerated approach uh, an early stabilized approach sorry instead of decelerated approach so we want to be an early um an early stabilized approach at Rorca we want to be geared down and flaps three already and then we'll put flaps four on the final turn so flaps one will go down and lasso Plus two and gear down before Nurat. And Nurat will do the last 1000 feet down to Rorca and we do plus three before Rorca. Then just half a mile, let's say, before Rorca, we'll come out of nav, go on track, and activate the secondary flight plan. So we have the guidance. Then we'll uh, cancel the flight directors, we'll be on track FBA and we will start this turn. In terms of descent, we don't have much guidance. All the guidance we have is that we want to be here at the castaway point we created at 1270. So that's why it's good as well to have it on the ND so we, we can double check the altitude. So we want to be at 1270. And we're going to start from 2000. That means we need to lose 730 feet. 
Now for a 3 degrees path, we multiply, multiply 730 by 3. So 2,190, so 2,200. We need 2.2 miles to descend on a 3 degrees path. But we have 3.6. So that's a lot more. So we have 1.4 more than we need. So what we're going to do, because then calculating whether it's a 1.5, 2 degrees slope is way too complicated and applying it is difficult as well. So let's find out where we need to start our three degrees descent now in the meantime we are five miles from the top of descent so we can push or minus descent alt blue flight level one zero zero that's good so we said we want to be at 2.2 miles from sp507 before we start the descent so 1.4 miles from rorca only way we're gonna know that distance if on the MCD U number two. So on the first one, here we still put the the threshold of runway two three, and we leave it there. But on uh, the second one here, we can put Rorca. So we know that two point two from here, which is one point four from here, we want to start the descent. We know that it takes always 0.3 miles to actually stabilize yourself on a three degrees before you can start to pitch down and be settled on three degrees. So instead of 1.4, let's say we want to start the descent when we are 1.1 after Rorca. So 2.5 miles from Sierra Papa 507. That's it, we made a note, 1.1 after Rorca will start our descent. Then for the reminder is 1270 coming down to runway threshold which is F50 so 1200 and 20 1 to 20 times 3 is 3.7 miles and we have 2.3 plus 1.4 we have exactly 3.7 if we make this turn correct that's good so that will be a three degrees all the way down we then in land around with two three 2,500 meters, the um, auto brake low would be enough, but we'll use medium so we don't need, we don't need to backtrack. Actually, low might still be enough without backtracking. Let's put low. Uh, there's um, it's up slope as well. It's an up slope. It's 20 feet, so that's seven meters higher on this side. So we should be okay with auto brake low there we go so we have a plan slow down 250 turn left lasso 4000 flaps 1 or NORAD flaps 2 gear down we have 3000 in NORAD on the way down flaps 3 level off at 2000 half a mile before Rorca we go track FBA Disconnect the autopilot, go on track, activate the second flight plan, turn left, monitor the distance from Rorca. At 1.1 from Rorca, we'll start our 3 degrees descent, put flaps full. Sorry, on this one. Put flaps full here. 1270 is the check for altitude here. We turn left and we go for land. Perfect. Bah, on paper. Perfect.
That's a very good day for a visual approach. We've been lucky. It's real weather, so just been actually lucky. Clear, clear ourselves to 8,000 our blue flight level 8 zero. there we go we have here the magenta dot so that's when we decelerate to 250 about 10,000 well below 10,000 There we go, Tolis is impeccable. Just monitor the deceleration, make sure we make it to 250 below the, before the green dot starts slipping down again. Sometimes you need to help it. We have tailwind of 24 knots, so just keep an eye, it might need a little hand with spoiler. But Two fifty, that's good. So ten thousand feet, um flight level one hundred, descending flight level eight zero standard set. Lights will stay as they are, seatbelt can go on now. Here we put constraint on both sides, ILS we don't need it, flight directors are on, ECAM, there's no failures, nothing to report there. And the here, right now, we don't really need anything because it's going to be an R nav, no ILS, and VORs, nothing. It's all going to be visual. And second flight plan, we've already entered what we need. So that's good. Let's clear ourselves down. Let's go all the way down to 2000. So the final. So QNH 1021. Let's set that. Take it back on like this guy. It's a visual procedure, so we really need to make sure that the the altimeter is correct. So that's it. We have Alt Magenta 4000 because that's the first constraint. Let's activate the approach phase now. We have all this time to slow down. Okay, so QNH is set. Um, approach phase is active, so we can do an approach checklist. Income status is checked. Approach brief runner 2 3, visual confirmed. Minima 2000 barrel set on both sides. Approach phase is active, and QNH is 1021 set on both sides. A very good habit with the TOLIS again is before, especially these complicated approaches, make sure you save your situation. 
So let's say split visual two three approach and we save it. It's a good idea to have all these saved at the end of the star, let's say. So yeah, so you can have any time in a year time. You don't want to do the full the full flight we just want to do some studying back procedures you can load them all up and then practice last 2.5 we need to lose well it's about 4000 so we should be good try and put plus one as soon as we can A bit, a little bit, just put a wee bit of spoilers. Six miles, two thousand feet to lose. We're perfect. We are below VFE next, so we're doing well. Let's put plus one now. We'll pass this 190 by a little bit so it doesn't drag too long. Lasso 5 1 and then Nura. So we need to lose 2008 miles, so we have two extra miles to slow down. Alp Magenta, 3000, next come straight. going down quite sporty let's put flaps too We are now below MSA, but we're visual, so that's not not a concern. And we are already visual with the airport. Good, we're visual. Not up two miles. Can use final up now. So speed final up, we put gear down now.
Gear is down, spoilers armed. Lights on. Ping the cabin crew. Seats for landing. Can now go flaps three. Okay, let's bring up this MCDU so we can see from Rorca. This one, I don't think we need it anymore. No, yes, we do. Need to activate the secondary flat plan. It's going down not very fast. Let's do something. Deactivate the approach phase and go down. Open descent to 2000. Okay, here the engine's pulling up. It was keeping a continuous descent to Rorca. Would be better to be at 2000 a little earlier. So we have flaps 3. We're all good. Let's go on to track FBA. One mile from Rorca. Let's cancel the nav, otherwise, it might initiate the missed approach. So pull for track. Under the above, we're good, we're visual, we can continue. We are at 2000, level off, we have Rorca, activate the secondary flight plan, and we can now go manual flight, deactivate the autopilot, deactivate the flight directors, and start that turn. Keep 2000 until 1.1 miles. Let's go as we said, the flaps full. Landing checklist we have auto brake low and eco memo landing no blue. 1.1 miles and let's go down 3 degrees. Start seeing the road there, so that's the road that we'll need to follow we need to turn onto the road. Quite a lot of tailwind. <laughs> Not ideal this runway today, but There we go, let's start the turn. One and we follow this turn. Imagining it continued exactly like in the first part, all the way here. There we go, two white, two red. Let's continue, three degrees. A bit high, let's go down. There we go, the wind is pushing us, there's quite a lot of wind, so just need to aim for the markers. There we go, zero F FPM. Mm. Not sure about that. Auto brake, spoilers, reverser. Reverser green, let's do manual braking. Ah, uh, we need to backtrack. It's fine, we didn't want to ride the brakes. 
So welcome to Split. It was a nice approach. It's one of done it a couple of times before. It's one of my favorite. Also, the scenery is really nice around here. Taxi speed on runway can be up to 40, so we'll be a bit faster than normal. Let's start the APU. It's not a very long taxi in there. Spoiler disarmed, flaps up. Weather it off. Because we go expander. And lights can come off. But I've been a pack. Okay, number four. Accumulator pressure is in the green. Lights off. Cabin crew doors to manual and cross check. After the checklist, the serial lights are set. Flaps are zero. Ground spoiler disarmed. APU started. Radar off and Tika standby. go we made it engines off maybe you is available yes it is we can put brake fan on copy door unlock seatbelts off beacon off uh, fuel pumps off and uh, tcas will put 2000 there we go parking checklist the uh, parking brake is on Engines are off, slides disarmed, beacon is off, seatbelts are off, fuel pumps 6 off, and ATC 2000 standby parking checklist complete. Welcome to Split in this beautiful part of Croatia. I really hope you've enjoyed this approach, and I hope you'll uh, manage it successfully, and hopefully I'll see you for plenty more. After this, I'll do another video with the same setup, initial setup, and the same uh, initial flight, as I said, but with the VOR and then circle uh, to land, which is a different approach. And the first part of the flight will be exactly the same, only at the point of the briefing, it will change into the, uh, the, the second, let's say, approach. Uh, but for now, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you, bye now.